So here today we're in a field that has symptoms of gall midge and soybeans. Let's go into the field and uh, tell you exactly what to look for and how to scale for them. A common place where you'll find gall midge at a higher incidence is along field edges. I recommend going into these hot spots, picking out individual rows, and doing the push test. As you come in and push on the plants themselves, if you hear or see any breaking, kind of at the base of where the plant meets the soil line, probably a good indication that uh, we've got gull midge present. And in fact, here you can see in particular one plant and some old feeding scars uh, from the gull midge. Here we have a particular plant that after the push test broke over and cracked off. Upon closer inspection, you will see the rotting at the base of the stem. And if you look very closely, you'll see a orange to red larvae. Uh, that's the culprit. They're the ones causing the feeding and uh, basically eating away at that stem and stopping nutrient and flow upwards. And what will happen is eventually these plants may die and you can see remains of some plants that uh, did die. Others are still in a wilting stage or phase. And uh, one thing that will be evident, even the plants that do stay alive, uh, probably mid to upper canopy, a lot of these pods will have small soybeans or may even be flat or blanks at the end of the season. Here's a good example looking at an individual soybean stem affected by the gall midge larvae. As the larvae are early in their development, they're probably white uh, to maybe slight orange. And you can see a couple there towards the top that are you know a little older a little larger in stage and as they age they become brighter orange to almost red in color that concludes this pioneer growing point agronomy video podcast visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on twitter and facebook for more agronomy insights